Make sure there's no sound on that. Hi guys. Welcome to our next Facebook Live. Um, just another quick one for you today. So we're not doing anything too long. Also, don't worry, oh, I was gonna say don't worry that my face is, isn't in shot. But um, yeah, I know, I was, I was happy without my face in shot, <laughs> thanks. <laughs> Thank you for that. Um, yeah, today we're just gonna make a little dog. It might not look exactly the same as these ones, but we're gonna do a dog. So, I don't know how well you guys can see this out oh, in this, this camera here. This is one I made quite a while ago, a few years ago in fact. This one I made 10 minutes ago, where I was just playing around with similar things, but changing the shape of the ears and the, the height of it and things, just to see what difference it would make to it. Okay, I also made it bog-eyed, because my dog, my friend, she at home, its eyes get a bit bog-eyed when, uh, when it's uh, excited. <laughs> right, okay, so. We're just going to do a white dog for this one. Um, I'm going to use this paste, so the Saracino modeling paste. Now, it does have cocoa butter in. So what you'll find is if you've got cold hands, it takes a little bit of kneading to get it going. Um, and if you've got hot hands, you might find that you have to kind of knead it. It gets a bit warm and you have to put it down and leave it for a few minutes to go back to room temperature. So usually I have cold hands. They're fairly cold now. So I stuck it in the microwave for a few seconds just to warm it up. However, don't forget you put it in the microwave because I completely turned mine to liquid earlier, which you don't want to do. Okay, so I'm just going to cut a bit off from my body. Usually it's a bit of guesswork at first, so I'll cut a piece off and then I'll roll a very, very rough shape first to see if size-wise, if it's what I want. I'm going to go a bit smaller, okay? So, a tiny bit smaller still, I think. So I'm going to weigh this for you guys so you can see how much paste so normally I wouldn't weigh things oops I need to wait for it to get to zero on the scales got to zero there we go 48 grams so about 50 grams would be fine and then I'm just going to make sure I've kneaded out all the creases and cracks this bit of paste that I'm not using I should really put it in a bag so I'm just going to put it to one side in a bag so it doesn't dry out just make sure whatever bag you're using you seal it up tight okay so I'm gonna roll really firmly to get rid of any creases and cracks okay if you do get the odd crack just put it to the bottom because we're not going to see the bottom I'm gonna start by rolling a bit of a cone shape like this okay if I want a taller dog I'll roll it really tall if I want a shorter dog so like the French Bulldog one that I've done, although it looks more like a cat, doesn't it? This, it doesn't look like a French Bulldog at all. It looks like a fat cat. What? Why is it both eyes? Because like when Bruce gets excited, his eyes look in different directions. Bruce is our uh, dog. French Bulldog, that now looks like a cat. Um, <laughs> yeah, so anyway, the taller the cone, the taller the dog, the shorter the cone, the smaller, a shorter the dog is gonna be. Okay. Also, it's probably going to sink a little bit because it's fairly warm is my paste, so it's, it's going to sink a bit under the weight. So it's kind of going to be similar to um, how we did the rabbit the other day. I don't know how many of you guys watched the rabbit yesterday. Not yesterday, it was last week. Thursday. Last Thursday, not yesterday. I've lost track of all time. Um, but it's a similar kind of thing. So we're going to start by putting like the thighs in. I'm just going to use my Dresden tool. So the pointy, or the ridge on the pointy end of it, I'm going to use to put in sort of about halfway up and we're going to pull it down and round towards the front like that so it brings in sort of the back leg and we'll try and do the same from the other side now I would love to say they end up the same size but usually my dogs end up with one leg a little bit bigger than the other can you see I haven't gone all the way to the back that's fine don't go all the way to the back with it leave it just as the front then what I'm going to do is a line in the middle in fact I'm going to use this fat end so that my legs are slightly apart at the front. Okay, so this one's got fatter legs than that one, but that's fine. 
I don't mind that. I'm gonna press a little bit deeper here actually. So can you see, because my paste is soft, the shape doesn't hold as well. If I'd given that five, 10 minutes to firm up and then put the lines in, it would be just a little bit firmer and easier to put the lines into. Okay, so I want a bit more white now. So we're gonna give it some extra fur for its chest. And obviously this would depend on how hairy the dog is or how long the fur on the dog is, I should say. I think most dogs are pretty hairy, aren't they? Apart from those bald ones. <clears throat> okay, so for this we're gonna roll a teardrop and I'm gonna squash it down a little bit and we're gonna have a look at the size compared to the dog. Oh, I think that's about the right size actually. I was gonna say I'll maybe weigh it for you, but go with the size that you like the look of as well. It doesn't have to be the same as this one. This one's about four grams. Now, if it doesn't stick on its own, you can use a bit of water, but because my paste is fairly warm, it's sticking straight away. Okay, and then we're gonna put some lines in. So this is exactly what we did with the rabbit. Only it's much taller than our rabbit, or much more slender, I should say. I don't know if it's actually taller. And I'm gonna just put a few more lines in there. So the one I did before um, has got fairly short hair, so I wouldn't have too many lines. If I wanted to make the dog look like it had longer hair everywhere, I would just add more fur. So can you see if I put some lines coming out from the side of each leg there? A few more in that. It's just gonna make that dog look that little bit furrier, maybe some even just on the inside edge just there. And try and get some on the edge of the back leg there. You can say that Richard put his first question up. You what, sorry? I put a question up. Oh, Richard's put a question up. I think that's something he's just fathomed out how to do on uh, the Facebook Live, so he obviously wanted to use the, the question function. Have you actually clicked it? Oh yeah, oh, is it classed as a poll? Yeah. Oh, okay. So Richard's asked if you're all cat or dog people. I'm allergic to cats. Dogs. Yeah, and it would seem my own dog, yeah. Okay, so we're going to put some little feet on, and we need this body to start firming up before we start really adding a head. Again, the size of the feet you add are up to you. I'm going to roll some little balls that are going to stick onto the front. Oops. I'm going to go just a tiny bit smaller. Again, I can wait for you guys if you want, but it, it doesn't matter if the feet are slightly bigger or slightly smaller. That's 1.3 grams. So one to two grams would be fine. I can tell when I weigh it, they're not the same, but do you know what? I don't usually weigh stuff, so. Those of you that follow me a lot will know that I'm not particularly known for weighing things or neatness. Um, so when things have to be even, that's me stuck. I don't worry about making things even. Okay, let's try and get four balls a similar size for this. Mm, Similar-ish, close enough, and then I'll just roll out any creases. But those two look small, like they're closer together in size to each other. What I'm going to do is put a little bit of water on the front of those legs. Now, make them slightly oval, and we're going to push them on. So slightly more oval, like a giant tic-tac. And I'm just going to push that on there and there. And then I'm going to push my toes in. See how big they get when I do this, but I can push it back down this way as well. Okay. So this one's got nice big feet. I'm trying to think what kind of dog this one could be. Because I've made it white. I should have gone for a different colour, but it's fine. Yeah, just think your white's not the best in the camera. Uh, no, I never thought of that. that. Yeah, sorry for picking white, guys. These ones I'm going to make a little bit more teardrop shaped so they stick the bottom end underneath the body if I can. So on the thin end I'm going to put a bit of water and I'm just going to push it under Stop that back thigh there. Let's put some water on this one and we'll push that under there too. Somebody's asked are we using Saracino modeling paste? Yes, this stuff here. So, yeah. so it's the Saracino modeling paste that we're using today. You don't have to use this one, you can use whichever you prefer. Um, I just like that it gives me a while to work with this one without it going too dry. It comes in lots of colours. Yeah, and it does come in lots of colours, which makes my life easier. But yeah, so 
The good thing about this one is that it gives you a long time to work with it. Um, sometimes I use the Renshaw's Flower and Modeling Paste, which I do like because it sets really hard. So it sets almost like pop does the Renshaw's Flower and Modeling Paste, which is really good. It's just that sometimes if you don't work quickly with it, it can start to dry on the outside um, and it can crack if you're still continuing to work with it. So once you get a bit faster, I think you're fine to use it. But if you're just starting out and you're a little bit slower, you just might find it cracks if you're doing anything too complicated. This actually would be fine for this. So it would work absolutely fine so for this. You said if you put some black dots on your dog, you could have a Dalmatian. I could, although I don't know if I've made it a bit too furry for a Dalmatian. Because <laughs> they have really short hair, don't they? Okay, this one is going to have a big tail, big fluffy tail. So I'm going to weigh this, but I might not end up using all this, but we'll see. About 9.6, so about 10 grams, isn't it? So again, we're going to start with a bit of a teardrop and then I'll pinch this end in a little bit more. It's going to end up with more like a fox's tail, I think. And I'm going to put some lines in. Can you see coming from either side? even a couple in the top Let's see if we can sometimes if I press you know in really hard and flick it out it gives me little bits of hair like that sometimes I actually just cut bits out as well oops bend that round this is, this is a mass this is not a dog tail is it this this is way too bushy to be a dog tail it's, it's like a giant fox tail Okay, never mind. Our dog is having a giant fluffy tail. And I'm going to stick it on at the back of its bottom, just there. Or maybe even just put a couple of little hairlines in the back. And you don't have to put hairlines everywhere. Just the odd one or two shows it's furry. And like I say, on this one, it doesn't have hairlines anywhere other than its like moustache and its chest hair there. So I don't think you have to put loads of lines on them. You don't. Okay, so... I'm going to face this towards me a second while I decide on the size of its head. Now, again, if you can let this firm up for ages, you can stick a head on there without any kind of support in the middle, but it really does need to firm up a lot more. So mine hasn't had long enough to firm up yet. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a stick in. So it doesn't mean you can't just eat it, okay? You can use spaghetti if you prefer. Those of you that watched the last video will know that... Um, I always mention that the reason I don't use spaghetti is that I just snap it. So, and obviously it would be raw spaghetti, not cooked spaghetti. But if I ever give this to somebody, I would ask them to just, if they're planning on eating it, they would have to pull the head off and remove this. Usually most people don't want to eat them, apart from children. They like to eat them. So the next thing really is deciding on the size you want the head to be. So I usually put a ball on, have a quick look before I've done sort of too much work with it and then decide do I like it like that or do I want to go a bit bigger? I'm going to add a bit more to it, I think. I like them to have fairly large sized heads. So let's add a bit more to it and then see. Again, at this stage, it doesn't really matter if it's got cracks and things in. That's a large head, but that's okay. I'm happy with a large head. Okay, so I'll weigh that for you guys again. About 45 grams. See, this, this is probably actually going to be too big a head. <laughs> but we'll see. I've determined that it's going to have a big head. Okay. So, once you've rolled the ball, we need to kind of catch one edge of it. So, can you see I'm just catching one edge? So, that we get a bit more of a nose forming here. Okay. Yeah. And then I'm going to press it kind of this way. So, this area here, either side of my nose is going to be where my eyes are so I think can you guys see that from above so here and here so from the side got a bit of a nose and then just slightly there and there is going to be my eye sockets okay now I'm going to I'm gonna stick it on because it's actually no I'm gonna I'm gonna work on it here I was gonna work on it on the dog but because it will be facing me it's gonna make it a little bit harder for you guys to see so Normally I would stick it on and then do more work on it when it's in place. But today I'm going to work on it down here so that you can see. The only thing is it's probably going to end up with a head that's a bit flat at the back because the pressure I put on. Whereas if I was working on it on the model, it would stay that little bit rounder. 
but that's fine. So I'm using a balling tool, small end, to put in some eye sockets. Okay, and it's up to you whether you want larger or smaller eye sockets. I'm gonna keep the head kind of this shape, so let's just re-put in those little eye sockets. Okay. And then within the eye sockets, we're gonna put more white. I know it seems weird that I've put white in there, but you will get a bit of a derm, whereas if I just try to draw the eyes on, it doesn't give me quite the same effect. Okay, so we want two small pieces of white that I'm just gonna fit into those eye sockets. That's probably gonna be just a little bit big. Let's go a bit smaller. I think that should be about the right size, so I'll try and make another ball a similar size. I'm not gonna weigh these, what I want you to do is just have a look. If you're making this again at home, I want you to just check the size of them against your eye socket. So don't put any water in at first till you're happy that they fit. And because with the balling tool I went more oval shaped, these need to be slightly oval shaped. I'm actually gonna see if I can get away without adding water at all. Yep, so that one goes in there. Oop. Try putting this one in. I have a feeling this eye might be a bit bigger. It's a tiny bit bigger, but that's okay. So give them a little bit of a push. If they're not staying on their own, in their own uh, stick a bit of water in the eye socket and then you can put that in. Okay, so we want a little bit of black now. And in fact, I'm gonna do some little bits that go around the outside of the eye. Now, if you struggle to roll things fairly small, like me, I struggle to roll things really small, you can always um, draw this bit on with a pen if you prefer. I'm gonna try this way today. Okay, so I'll start with a ball. I'm gonna roll it a little bit, and then I want either end, or both ends, to be nice and pointy so it's slightly bigger in the middle. Now, I think I'm gonna to have to put a little bit of water on for this. And I'm gonna put a little bit of water around the outside edge. This actually, at the moment, looks just like when I make a unicorn. I know it sounds daft, but when I've made a white little cartoony unicorn, it looks exactly like this does at this stage. Or its head, not its body, its body doesn't look the same. Okay. So can you see it goes around the outside edge of the eye? So we've got no black on the inside. I can't remember if I just put that on there already or not. Okay, so let's start with the ball again. Let's roll it a little bit. Point neither end. Getting them both the same size is tricky. So I could have rolled them both out at the same time. So I held them next to each other before putting them on. But what I find is when they start to get firm, it's harder to push them around the eye. So as soon as I've rolled it out, well, it's nice and soft, I'm gonna try putting it on in place. They're not exactly the same, but it's close enough that I'm happy. Okay. Then we need to give it some centers for its eyes. So I'm gonna want a small piece of black. In fact, I'm gonna cut this. I'm gonna cut this in half again. So we'll roll two balls in the black. I'm aiming for the same size, but I don't think they're gonna be. Hang on, let me put those down a second. I put a tiny bit of water. This one's gonna be looking inwards towards its nose, I think. Squash them slightly with your fingers, and then we're gonna put them in the eyes, okay? If you wanna squash the black out more, you can always push it around. Can you see with the tool, once they're in place, so if you want them more oval shaped, I can drag that and move that around a little bit here. Okay, and let's give him some whites in the eye. So this is just the edible pen that we're using for a little dot of white. It's a bit pink because I used it on something red the other day. <laughs> but the white is still coming out white, so it's okay. It's all good. Okay, so I think because this one's quite furry with long, like its body's got long fur, I think this one is going to be as well. So this one looks kind of hairier or longer hair because of its mouth. So we'll do maybe the same for this one. So. the fridge you can hear going off in the background. Pardon? No, I wasn't gonna. Okay, so we've got a little ball. I don't know if this is the right size or not. I can wait for you anyway, but I'm not sure if it's gonna fit. We'll see, two and a bit grams. So I'm gonna squash it. Mm, actually, no, it's not gonna be big enough. <clears throat> Let's go with three and a half grams, roughly. Three and a half, four grams. It's probably about four grams. Okay, so let's go again. So a little ball, I'm gonna squash it down. It needs to be big enough that it covers the end of the nose, okay? So I'm gonna put a bit of water on there. 
we're gonna stick this on here like this looks like it's got a face mask oops caught my fingernail on his toe okay so let's put a line up the middle for his mouth or not his mouth I don't know what it's called the bit that goes up the middle of the uh, the dog's nose I don't know and then we're gonna put some more lines coming in from the edges upwards so this is to just make it look a little bit furrier looks more like a mustache now okay then we want a nose okay let's maybe let's give him some more hair on here so it matches with the lines that I've given him everywhere else in fact some bushy eyebrows would probably make him look furrier let's give him some bushy eyebrows and do them in white rather than black I think my other one's got black eyebrows but I think some big um, some big white ones in here would look nice Did you guys notice that it never looks exactly the same as the one I put in the picture? I have real problems with making things look the same. You also get bored. I also get bored of making the same thing. So every time I try and make something, I'll try and do something slightly different on it. But it's still like, it's still the same method of making it as that one was. Okay, so big bushy eyebrows. Let's put some lines on. Now it looks like an old man dog. Maybe even some extra little lines just below his kind of cheeks. I don't know how well they show up for you guys. Oh, and the reason he still looks odd is he's missing the end of his nose. So let's pop the end of the nose on. And it's up to you whether you think it looks nicer, bigger or smaller. I'm gonna make two noses and let's see what looks nicer. All over the world again. Oh, is there? Thank you everybody for tuning in. Especially because I forgot to really advertise it until about an hour ago. We forgot. We, we forgot to, I didn't forget I was doing it, I forgot to advertise that I was doing it. It's very busy at the moment, there's not as many of us at work, so there's just me and Richard now, um, obviously because of coronavirus and stuff, um, so that there's not many of us actually here and about. So it means we're very busy and we keep forgetting things. Actually that's quite big anyway, isn't it? So this one was going to be even bigger, I'm still going to put it on just to see, but it's, I know it's going to be too big. Oh, actually, I like it really big. <laughs> Do you know what? I can't decide, so I'm going to go in, in between size. I should have asked the audience. Oh, yeah, I should have we've asked got, you guys. We've got quite a few cat people on watching. Oh. Does the French bulldog look like a cat that I made? It does. It's <laughs> like the oddest looking thing. It, it doesn't even really look like an actual animal, does it? Okay, sorry, I forgot to show you, didn't I, what I was doing. So start with a ball, then we go slightly oval. And then I'll try and pinch it between my two thumbs there so that it's more triangle and I'll squash the top like that. Then we'll press it down a little bit and then we'll just keep working on that shape. And it doesn't have to be a triangle shape, we could just keep it as an oval if you prefer. And then let's push that onto there. Yeah, he's still got a massive nose, that's fine. Okay. Then we can stick him on because it's very difficult for me to put the ears on when it's down here and then when I pick it up, put them on, the ears always fall off. So we're gonna stick it on this way. Okay, so I'm gonna put some water on the top of the body and then we're gonna try and get it in about the middle. Yeah, does that look right there? Or does his head look like it needs to be a bit further forwards? I'm not really sure what kind of dog he looks like at all. Okay, so we could either have like floppy ears or stood up ears or kind of folded over ears. So they're the folded over ones. Yeah, when I stick them up, it definitely looks more like a cat, doesn't it? A bat. Yeah. Or a bat. A cat or a bat. Let's see. So, I'm just going to see what he looks like. I don't think he's, he's going to suit floppy ears. This is, they're not staying like that. It's just so I could quickly see. I think he needs sticky up ears like that, don't you? Do you think? I'm not sure. Because I've done a dog that doesn't really look like any kind of particular breed of dog, I'm not sure which is best. So if I did like sticky up ears, we got a kind of teardrop that's squashed. Well, not sticky up, but kind of folded over. Does that one look yeah, better? Look you think better. that one? Okay. I'm going to show everyone how to make it. 
I just I make things very quickly, very roughly, just while I'm deciding sort of what's best, what's gonna look best. Because if I don't like it, it's pointless me spending a lot of time working on it. Oh, maybe I should do them a bit smaller. Nope, we're going with this size. I've committed to it now. Okay, so we'll roll it at one side so that it's more teardrop. Hang on, let me move that over so it's more teardrop shaped. Yep, so take any ball, roll to one side so we get that teardrop. And I'm just going to squash it with my fingers. Okay, we'll see if we can get them a similar size. Okay. And then we'll fold, fold up. In fact, actually, let's put the lines in first because I want him to have some little lines in his ear. So I'm going to just kind of catch the edges a little bit. In fact, I think I'm going to do this on both sides. It's kind of lost the point at the end of his ear a tiny bit. Okay. Then we're going to fold the end over. And then I'm going to stick this onto the head. So when it goes on the head, it doesn't want to be too close to the top and it doesn't want to be right around the side either. It's kind of here and here, I think. Somebody's asked, how do you keep the paste from sticking to your hands? Um, I've got fairly cold hands, so it generally doesn't stick to me. If it, when my hands get warm, I just put a small amount of corn flour on my hands and then it stops it sticking to me. Same for the table, if it starts sticking to the table. Okay, so when I press this on, I'm kind of squashing the bottom edge quite a bit. So let's see if I can show you. So, because we had a teardrop shape, didn't we? So we're gonna push, can you see that on? So that this bit here kind of rounds. Ooh, look how weird it looks now. And then let's fold that over. This is are actually pretty big, aren't they? Maybe I should have done them a bit smaller. He's got big, big ears. Do they look too big? No, cute. When I ask Richard if things look all right, he usually says yes if he's fed up and he's had enough. <laughs> he goes, yeah, it's fine. <laughs> or sometimes he goes, oh, are you leaving it like that, are you? <laughs> and then I know he doesn't like it. There we go. Okay. It's all right, though. You can tell it's a dog, can't you? As long as you can tell it's a dog, then that's fine. I think I do actually have a cat tutorial over on my YouTube channel as well. Although it's a Halloween one, so it's got like green weird eyes, but um, it's on there. Okay, so they're only fairly basic ones, they're obviously not realistic, lifelike ones. But have a bit of a play around with it, see what you guys come up with. The different colours change what they look like, like adding the lines for the hair changes what it looks like. So if you're adding long lines, it's going to make its hair look longer, whereas if you're not adding any lines, its hair's going to look much shorter. If you make it look bog-eyed, it's going to look more comical. <laughs> so this one has got a much shorter body. This one's got a much taller body as well. So can you see it just really does change them. Also, this one doesn't have a very long nose, whereas these ones, the noses, are much longer for. Can okay. Say adding a bit of shading makes it yeah, you can add shading and stuff with powders. Um, because I've done a white one, I'm worried if I put shading on, um, it's going to make him look dirty. <laughs> but yeah, you can just shade like with different edible powders and stuff. So I usually just use, let's see, this. And then I would just put on little bits of colour. I don't think I've actually shaded any of these ones. Oh, has he got pink ears in the middle? Okay, let's, let's put some pink in. So let's go for a pink one. Let's unfold them a second so that I can get some pink inside the ear. I realise I'm doing this not facing towards me, so I could be putting it all over the place now. I'm not sure I've done it very neatly or evenly. Maybe he could have some on his cheeks. I've probably ruined him now. I always go too far with things when they don't really need it. I know what he needs, a dot of white on his nose. Oops. With my very unsteady hand. I don't think you can see that from the front, can you? You can only really see that from the top. Yeah, with the white dot. Well, it's not a dot, it's more a line. Okay, I think I'm done. I actually didn't take too long today, just over half an hour for you guys, so I actually managed to keep it quicker than usual. <laughs> and then I need to think of something for Thursdays. So we're doing another um, Facebook Live on Thursday, as long as we don't forget again. Um, 
And yeah, I'm thinking again something really simple. So I might either decorate biscuits or cupcakes. Somebody's asked, would you ever add a tongue to your dog? Yeah, yeah, you can do. I mean, I've given it a closed mouth, so I guess... Oh, wait, have I got any pink? I've got bright pink. One second. It's going to have a luminous pink tongue. Somebody's also asked what sort of colour palette you're using. Oh, these are um, the Petal Dust colour palettes. There's like three different palettes. So usually we sell these on our website. We do still sell them. Um, it's just they're out of stock at the moment. So the order was posted to us quite a while ago, wasn't it? But they come from America. So we were expecting them end of last week, beginning of this week. So I'm hoping it's not too long at all now till they actually arrive. But they are good for just little bits of colour and it's quite nice because I don't have to buy lots of individual pots then. How long's your first set lasted for you? How long's what? How long's your first set lasted? I've still got it from six years ago, but I tend not to get that out as much because I, um, I knocked it on the floor. So all my powders shattered because I knocked the thing on the floor. I'm going to switch to that one. So it's just like an oval that we're pushing on underneath. Um, and then if you want to neaten it up, you can actually just stick a ball under that for the bottom jaw. So that if you're looking from underneath, you don't really see too much pink. Let's see. Um, I don't know if you can really see that, that I've stuck yeah, under there. Yeah, so it's just an extra piece so that the tongue isn't kind of out on its own under there. Yeah. Okay, does it look better with a tongue? Yeah. Uh, okay. Yeah, it does look nice with a tongue, doesn't it? Because the others haven't got tongues. Good thinking. Um, and obviously you can give them colours and all sorts, or a big bow. Whatever you wanted, really, I suppose, couldn't you? I haven't given these ones very long necks, actually, for a collar to go on there. But you could still could still squeeze one on, I suppose. Um, is there anything else you guys want want to know before I disappear for the day? Got some suggestions. Yes. Postman Pat figures, NHS themes for something, for thank you. Okay. I'll get my thinking cap on for those things. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe not Postman Pat theme, but I don't know. Or maybe I should, because the Postman and Postman are all still working, aren't they? Apart from our post office, which is now shut. But we are still posting things. We're just having to go elsewhere to post your products out to you guys. Hmm. Somebody, we've had more requests for sloth-based things. Sloth, oh, we could, do, we could try a sloth. Sloths are cute. I like sloths. <laughs> yeah. I'm trying to think for NHS things. Other than making a full figure, I don't know what else. I'll let you guys give me ideas for NHS themed things. So what we're going to say is if people want to message us with ideas yeah. and put comments on posts and we'll, we'll have a look and see if there's a common theme we can go with that. Yeah, if it's something that doesn't take all day as well. <laughs> Not that I don't want to be on a Facebook Live to you guys all day. Um, but yeah, I tend to find that if we can keep it to about half an hour, then people aren't losing interest as quickly. But yeah, we'll, yeah, keep your ideas coming in anyway and we'll have a look through next time yeah right anyway I'm gonna get off now guys because I'm gonna do a bit more filming on the hair tutorial and then I also need to post some of your products out as well today and um, so thank you everyone for joining us from all over the world thank you I hope you're all still safe and well and hopefully we'll see you all on Thursday <laughs>